Hello again, welcome back to another video. As you can see, there are little bits of paper everywhere from unboxing yesterday. I have been buying other cameras and I'm a little bit reluctant to um, to do this, but um, I do have a confession to make. I have bought another camera this last week and please don't think I've gone to the dark side or uh, whatever, but this is a 5D and it's a 5D Mark II. Um, I was inspired by Kai Wong. Um, he's been a regular on uh, YouTube, he used to work for Digital Rev, I think it was called, the Hong Kong based uh, camera channel. He's now in, in the UK doing his own stuff together with Locke. But he did an interesting video where he picked up a 5D for £250. So um, that kind of inspired me to go out and buy this £270 delivered without the lens. Obviously the lens is something I've had for ages. I do normally shoot on a Canon 760D uh, crop sensor camera or a, a Nikon uh, D7000. But um, the lens testing poll that I did sort of showed that people were quite open to lens testing on digital cameras. So I thought it was time to upgrade my full frame. Um, I've been using before this, I was using a 1DS Mark II and a 5D classic as they call it, the original 5D, um, but I find the 760's just got flippy tilty screen and Wi-Fi and things that you can't, once you have them you, you just want them again. This doesn't have that unfortunately, but uh, it is part of the Canon ecosystem. I've got quite a lot of nice Canon glass, especially L series stuff, so it worked fine on this. It's full frame, 20 megapixels does shoot video it's a bit famous for what is it doctor or house or something but um, it's not really meant for video so I'll grab your prints all over the screen yes yeah, fully functional fully working um, I say 270 pounds um, I have tried it out it takes CF cards which are sort of pretty old hat nowadays but at the time they were the fastest sort of memory cards available but yeah it's quite a nice spec um, the images I've seen out of it are pretty good. Um, the A7 seems to be the camera that um, I know people like um, Xenography. He uses a, a, an A, A7 Sony mirrorless camera for his lens testing. Mirrorless is probably a better way of going, but I've tried Micro Four Thirds with Panasonic and I just can't get on with composing on a TV screen. I really like optical finders. So this is what this was bought for really was for lens testing it speeds up the production of videos because I'm really struggling time wise with uh, shooting film, developing film, scanning or printing in the dark room to try and get a video out with sample shots in it is just like too much planning. I just haven't got the, the time or the energy to put that much work in. I'm quite lazy really, as you can see, the high production quality videos, but um, yeah, please don't think I switched to the dark side. Um, I've always had a bit of a dark side. Um, my own personal work, I tend to shoot digital. I do shoot film now and again when I get into the mood of it, but um, I've shot film for God knows how many decades, and it's quite nice to just point, click, view, rather than having to go through the whole palaver of developing at 20 degrees and all the rest of it. Not to say I don't enjoy film, and I love being in the dark room, but... Like most of us, time and economy is an issue. Um, so yeah, that was my one of my buys this week. More than I'd like to pay for any bloody camera, to be honest. But uh, 250 quid gets me a lot of film cameras. But uh, yeah, it's worth it, I think, as an investment for the channel. Yeah, it's quite clean, quite tidy. I haven't got a clue what the shutter count is. I don't have a PC. I don't like PCs. I think I've already said that in videos before. I worked in IT and I don't care if I never see another computer again in my life. So I'm very much a, a phone fan. But yeah, that's my uh, my guilty pleasure, if you like. That's my outing myself. It's not to say that these are going to appear frequently on the channel, because they're not. This is a film-based channel, but we have to be realistic. There is some uh, digital side to things. And the lenses work fine on film cameras or on digital cameras, so I think it's the best of both worlds. I did also pick up a few other bits as well, because it's not big enough for me, so I picked up one of these things. This is a battery grip 6 for this, so that goes on the bottom and makes it look more like a 
prof- well, it is a professional camera. It's as tough as old boots, but uh, this just adds extra batteries into it. You can put two batteries in this and uh, six AA cells if need be. Uh, I'd rather stick with the Canon batteries, I think. And I also picked up one of these, which you're really going to start screaming and shouting at me for, but this is a Canon FD to EOS adapter. It's long been a bugbear of mine, is this switch from FD to uh, to EOS, where they just totally changed everything. I was sort of glad they did in a way, but at the time it was like, how dare you? You're making all my old gear redundant. The only downside of these is they do include a lens in them because obviously the flange distances are different. So you can see there's a lens in there, which I'm not too keen about using, but um, I'm going to give it a try and see uh, what the results are like. Hopefully it'd be equally as bad on all the lenses, so it won't really make an awful lot of difference. <laughs> but we'll see. I don't know what brand this is. It's just another thing that I picked up off eBay. Terrible place. Don't don't waste your time browsing through eBay. It'll take all your money. It does to me quite regularly. But yeah, and that's a couple of extra bits that I came in this week. Um, well, I would never do it. I'd never use an FD lens on an EOS body. That would seem stupid. You use FD lenses and FD bodies. That goes on there, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, those are a couple of extra bits I picked up this week as well. So yeah, that's today's video, folks. It's a bit of a confession video. I do shoot digital. I do quite like digital. But I, my heart is really with film. You know, there's no way I, you can repair this. If, if anything goes wrong with this, it's uh, going to be a trip to fixation. Um, my original 5D I bought missing the mirror because the mirror fell off on my original 5Ds. I think everyone knows about that. So I picked it up with that and a mirror in it, sent it off to fixation and had a mirror fitted and it's been fine ever since. And I had a friend who was using 5Ds and um, he left it on the roof of his car and drove off. And he had the 16 to 35 to 8 lens fitted onto it and bounced down the road and it's worked fine ever since. So they are really tough cameras. But yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm sorry if this offends you, but um, yeah, this is what I bought this week. This is a standard Nifty 50. This is the latest one, I think, with the STM in it. But, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Comments, questions, queries, insults down below. And uh, please forget to, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye.